it's Berry Garden Thursday today. I have a very quick inspirational berry garden to share with you. But before we get to that, go check out Grandma Sandy. She is the creator of the Fairy Garden Thursday hashtag. And she always has fairy gardens on Thursdays and sometimes more often. So go check her out. She is the queen of fairy gardens. So now let's check out my mini inspirational fairy garden. I wanted to create a fairy garden that the people around me in the community where I live could also enjoy. So I made a mini fairy garden on the city boulevard. It was full of weeds which I removed in the spring, planted autumn joy sedum, and I have some dollar tree fairy garden homes and some very many little fairies. You can see a little cat and a little dog. Our neighborhood is very animal friendly. Almost every house has a cat or a dog or sometimes both. So it seemed appropriate to include cats and dogs. And there's a little frog just for fun. We did have a frog come to the door many years ago. So there are frogs around this neighborhood too. And here's just a few more images of my mini circular fairy garden. I added a little bit of soil underneath this established boulevard tree. Then I added some large, medium sized white rocks or stones in a circular formation around the tree and then I topped it with some dried moss and I put out my fairy garden ornaments on top of that. And it seems pretty cohesive. I'm quite happy with it and hopefully the neighborhood enjoys it. There's a little grandma frog. There's a little rabbit. There are definitely rabbits that do frequent that exact boulevard and eat the weeds. So I wanted each side of this miniature circular fairy garden to look a little bit different. So there's a different fairy on each side in a different pose and little creatures that are different on each side. We've got frogs, we've got a frog, rabbits, cats, and dogs. So there's a lot of variety depending on what angle you're looking at the fairy garden. Thank you so much for watching my little fairy garden inspirational video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss future fairy garden videos. And let me know in the comments below if you have ever made a fairy garden or miniature garden of your own. I'm really curious what kind of miniature garden you've made. Was it was there any particular theme? Where did you make it? In a container, in the ground, in your landscape, maybe in an old tree stump? Let me know down below in the comments what you did with fairy gardens, or maybe this will inspire you to try your first fairy garden. This video sparks a little magic in your life, and we will see you very soon in another section of the garden. Have a good day, evening, night, wherever you are.